Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all of the polishes I picked up for the November polish pickup. Um, November's theme was fairy tales I believe. Um, and these are the four polishes I got from that polish pickup. Um, I'm going to be doing a live swatch for you on the nail wheel and we'll just be a little chit chatty um, while we do that. So I had a really long list this month, but I ended up going with four polishes. Um, so let's go ahead and start with this one first. So this is Moo Moo. Moo Moo Signatures. I love this little cow on the bottle. I've never purchased from this brand before. This one is called The Myth of Daphne. Um, I saw this polish and I really liked it right away. And then the price kind of scared me away. And then on polish pickup day, I was just like, oh, I'll get it. So <laughs> I ended up picking this up. It's a gorgeous um, sort of mossy green. It has a ton of iridescent flakies. I think this shade is perfect for this time of year. And um, it seems really fun. The bottle's small, which I'm a little in eh about. It's a 12 milliliter bottle. And here it says cruelty free and big for free. So um, let's see how this swatches. Um, as you can see that I do like the brush on this bottle I think it looks really um, not too thin not too wide and here we go on the first coat um this is a tiny bit sheer on the first coat but that is to be expected since um, it has so many like elements in the polish that have to come through so all of the um, flakies look really really beautiful so that's the first coat of that. Um, while we wait for that to dry, are you guys interested in anything for next month's polish pickup? Are you planning to stick to more um, Black Friday polishes? It's kind of tough. I think I'm going to stick to more Black Friday sales and maybe only get a couple of polish pickups, if anything. Um, but who knows? We'll see. It's kind of bad timing because, too, you're supposed to be like buying gifts for everybody else. And um, <laughs> you know how that goes. So it's just a tough spot and then i also like to like close black friday shop so hopefully um i'm able to like have some restraint now that i've taken like all of my polishes out and put them all back with this like polish room i i was kind of like man i have a lot of pretty things that i don't really wear um and haven't shown any love and so that does make me want to curb down for next year um and also um, when I moved all the clothes out of my closet and my shoes and stuff, um, it was a similar thing. Like, man, I have a ton of stuff. I really do need to, um, kind of utilize what I have more. So I'm going to go in for my second coat of the, um, the myth of Daphne. So here is the second coat of myth of Daphne. It definitely deepens up the base color of the polish and, um, you get some more of those really pretty iridescent flakies on the nail. Um, I definitely think this will be a three coater when you go to wear it um, on your natural nails, depending on length for sure, because um, I do have the clear nail wheel here and you still can see, probably not on camera, but in person, I can see the, um, like my nail underneath this. So I'm gonna go for a third coat of this, I think. The winter is coming theme from this month's polish pickup isn't as exciting to me as some of the other ones throughout the year. Um, I do think there are some pretty polishes, but I just, I don't know you guys. I'm not sure um, completely what I think. So we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to go for the third coat. What do you think of the name Daphne, you guys? I don't know anybody named Daphne. I don't know if you guys do. It reminds me of Scooby-Doo, but I think it's a pretty name. <laughs> um, so I don't know who this Daphne, this polish is referring to, but... I do think it is a really pretty name, um, just not very common where I'm from. Where I'm from, more Spanish names are very popular and um, I guess just more biblical names. People do a lot of biblical names around here, like David's. Um, I know a ton of Joseph's. I have a lot of Joseph's in my family. So we're a little more traditional with names. It's either like hardcore Spanish, like stuff you can't even pronounce. So I have a coworker, his name is Florian Guerbo. And poor dude, man, he has to go by Flo because like hardly anywhere in that work can pronounce his name. And uh, it's kind of funny. So look at this polish, you guys. That third coat really does um, 
even everything out nicely you still get all those beautiful flakies i will top coat this after i feel like it's more dry so that you can see how that looks um but let's go on to the next polish um so i'm gonna go with this night hour lacquer next i was really excited about this this is called the buried moon i love these very jam-packed flaky polishes she's been putting out month before last was on um, leaf peeping with sasquatch which i did not pick up and i regret because amy murphy on instagram got it and it looked beautiful on her but i'm just it's hard for me because my skin tone is very similar to those colors and i was like how's it gonna look um but when i saw the purpley base of this polish i was like oh i need it and then this next month she's doing sort of like a teal base with all these flakies and i may end up getting it depending how i feel about this one so um let's go in for one coat of buried moon Man, this has a lot of flakies, you guys. Um, it's very sheer, which I was expecting because of all the flakiness. But I think it is going to build up really nicely. Um, so there's one coat. So there's one coat. You can see how sheer that is. Um, but look at all the glowy flakies on that. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Um, that'll probably be a three-coater, but I'm not mad at it because it's so flaky full. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys finally ended up picking up from last month's polish pickup. Um, and if you've worn it yet, have you enjoyed it? What did you think? All of that good stuff. Um, and also maybe in the comments down below, let me know what Black Friday sales you're looking to shop or like if you're going to shop Black Friday sales. Are you going to do polish? Are you going to do clothes? Are you going to do... I know some people are like into TVs, electronics, things like that, which are on big sale for Black Friday. So... Let me know what you guys are doing or depending when this goes up what you did do um because i have a lot of stuff that i need to film and i'm not sure what exactly schedule it's going to come out on um so i'm going to go in for the second coat of the buried moon so that second coat does like deepen the color you're getting even more flakies on the nail but I think this will be a three-coater, especially on longer nails and if you like um, a heavier, you know, coverage like I do. When I put my nail here, I can still see my nail underneath this. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. I can't see my viewfinder. I'm kind of too short. Um, but I'm going to go for that third coat of this one. Man, that base color is so pretty, though. It's very fall. It's like a very deep plum, um, and I really do enjoy that color i'm really loving these first two polishes you guys i'm super happy with those picks um and this is like my third or fourth night owl and i really think they're super nice um, it might be a black friday sale i check out just because i have appreciated a lot of the polishes i picked up okay let's see how dry that is let's go in for the third coat okay not dry enough kind of Put myself a little bit of bald spots there um let's hold off a few minutes before we go in for that third coat i knew that was too soon i don't know what i was thinking um so i'm pretty moved into this polish room you guys i just have a lot of mess but i need to like straighten that out and do a few things before i film the um like final review for you guys or let me know like do you care like do you want to see it in its stages like i could show it to you now in a video and then i could show it to you like completely final once everything's done i'm probably about a month away from all the final stuff being completed um just waiting on a few things and um i had some problems with the furniture i ordered from ikea so let me know what you want. Let me know if you want to see it now. Let me know if you want to wait completely till the end or what you guys want to do. Um, I'm debating ordering a couple of nail racks, um, like desk racks for for my um, painting desk that I have now. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. There's just some organizational things I'm not sure what I'm doing with yet. So we'll see how that ends up going. Um, let's try this third coat again. <laughs> On buried moon okay so here I'm going in for the third coat third coat does um, deepen the base color even more and I'm just kind of like judging it around because it is a little bit wet still but um 
you know, if you give it ample time to dry, you're going to be fine. I'm just kind of trying to hurry it along for filming, which I shouldn't be doing. I should edit all this wait time out. So there is three coats of the Buried Moon. I think that is fully opaque on that third coat. Even on longer nails. Oh, you guys, that's so beautiful. I am in love with that polish. I hope that all the like flaky goodness is really translating on the video because it's so pretty. The base color is so pretty. Um, this is a very vampy, sexy polish, and I'm really liking it. So next polish I picked up was this um, EDK. M I think it's Emilet's Decali or something like that. Let me see if I my package. Okay, so the next polish I picked up is this EDK. This is called Esmaltes Artisans Handmade Nail Lacquer. Um, and she put a little card in the package. This is the first polish I've ever picked up from this brand. I thought this was the cutest Crowley. Um, it has sort of like a purpley pink light jelly base with a ton of sparkly glitters. Um, this just spoke like to the inner glitter lover in me. So let's see the formula on this. Um, let me show you the brush since I've never tried this brand before. I do like it, not too thick, not too thin, just kind of your standard in the middle there. Um, and let's see how this goes on the nail. So it is sheer, which is to be expected from a glitter Crowley. You do get a lot of glitter payoff though. Look at all that glitter. That's really pretty, you guys. It's kind of like a cupcake in a bottle, which I really am appreciating. Um, the um, inspiration for this was like an enchanted castle. I completely get those vibes. Um, I really, really like it. This would be a really fun birthday manicure for like you people whose birthdays aren't on or around a holiday like mine. Um, I would definitely wear that as a birthday manicure if my birthday was not next to Halloween. So, um... Let's go ahead and try that second coat. Hopefully it's had a chance to dry. Ooh, very, very nice, you guys. This has a great, great coverage and just the glitter payoff is so beautiful. It doesn't dry textured. All the glitters lay flat. All the glitters lay flat. I'm assuming you will have removal issues. You could use your bliss kiss clips or um peel off base coat but um look at that on the nails two coats to get opaque oh that's beautiful i might need to wear this like on new year's eve maybe for sure valentine's day this is a for sure valentine's day polish so pretty um so have you guys put up your christmas stuff yet i feel like I should have done it already because Halloween landed so late this year and I haven't done it. And I love to have my Christmas tree be up for a really long time. And I'm kind of like, man, I missed my window. But um, I'm probably going to put it up like tomorrow when we get back from my parents, which will be Thanksgiving or Friday um, and get all that stuff going there. So and next up is going to be polish. Look at this, you guys. Oh, my God. So this is the topper. This is Realm of Eldrick, and um, this is a topper. I'm going to put it on the nail wheel by itself first just to see, and then I'll put it over another polish. Ooh, this is really pretty, you guys. Um, it has a lot of gold flecks and like multi-chrome flakies. You get excellent, excellent um, payoff on that in one coat. That is one coat. I don't I'll put it at two coats just to see. I don't think I would ever wear it like that. I think I would wear it specifically as a topper. Um, and then I have this darker purple on my nail wheel already from another video I had filmed. And I'm just going to top it over that and see how that goes. Oh my goodness, you all. That is amazing. I hope you guys can see that like as gorgeous as it is. Oh my gosh. Look at that on the nail. Holy cow. Holy guacamole. Um, and then I'm going to try topping it over this blue. Just to see again. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Oh, I love that combo. Look at that. Okay. New favorite topper. I have to wear this. It's so pretty. 
very festive. I feel like this makes anything just look super sparkly and fab. Um, let's try it over this turquoise too, just because I want to see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, that's pretty too. This one kind of wants to be broken, but um, I can still. Oh, oh no. Darn it. We'll do it like that. Look at that. So pretty. Oh, I really love that polish a lot, you guys. I think it's going to be a very versatile topper. Um, and then let me go on for a second coat over itself just so we can see how that looks. Like I said, I don't think I would wear it this way and get it opaque on its own. But um, it's always fun to see. That is actually really pretty. Um, and there's so much going on, like, I don't mind it. <gasps> Maybe I will wear it like that, like as an accent nail. That would be really pretty. You could pick up like one of the colors. You could pick up one of the colors in the flakies and then um, do that as an accent nail. That is so pretty. Okay, so, so this is all the polishes I picked up for last month's polish pickup. So let me know what you guys picked up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of my choices. Um, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.